Hi, come on in. I am at the Dover in Fort Worth, Texas. This is kind of an interesting slash, I don't know, it's like a, a combo video for lack of a better word. Anyways, I'm going to review a bag, but wanted to show you my room because I just got in tonight. Um, and I'm, so anyways, I'm at the Dover in Fort Worth and it's insane. So here's the bathroom. It's not the biggest room, but it's one of the more stylish chic rooms and I kind of love it. Um, I need to redo my bathroom and I was just thinking like, I'm a big fan of this sort of like Mediterranean style tile, I guess, but like kicked up a notch with the dark black and then all the dark black trim. Um, anyways, just thought I would bundle showing you my cool room along with showing you my cool purse. So anyways, I just got here after an epic drive, one of my many epic drives on this 34 night road trip, but check out the room. Like the view's not bad actually, it kind of looks onto the green belt. Um, and then the city a little bit, and then I actually and there's and there's also three beds, which and then, which means there could be three persons if you're two, if it's twins, it goes to be fine. If you want to sleep in two bunk beds, and then it goes to sleep at the bottom. There you go. So this is it's funny. It's like I actually really like having our kiddo like sleep close to us, but this setup is so cool. So it's like. Um, I'm not sure. I think this is, might be a king bed. It's quite large, actually. And then the double, like, perpendicular buck beds is super nice. And then all this is cool. Like, the, you know, usually the carpets and the flooring in general for hotels are kind of, like, blah. But it's nice. Like, I think this is, I mean, I'm in Texas, for God's sake. So I think it's real wood, not, like, the tile wood. Um, and then the table's, like, the table's freaking hair on table. And this is leather. Like, everything's just kind of, like, it's like the chicest parts of like what I envision Texas style to be. I've never been to Texas, but this is kind of how I picture it. Like statement wood, statement leather, hair on, like uh, distressed wood, kind of just cool. Like, and then the bathroom has a barn door and then they took like the extra care to do like this twisted leather handle. Like who does that? And then over here for when you're gonna remove your cowboy boots, presumably, which um, I won't be doing since I have no cowboy boots. Uh, but I did kick off my Skechers, which is the second closest thing to that. Um, but anyways, let's see this video. And if you're wondering, like, why it is that my hair is, like, so bonkers, I'll tell you that it's this, oof, this is on casters. I'll tell you that it's because I always wear it in a bun when I'm traveling, and so I just let it out just for you guys. Um, but anyways, let's get started. It's funny, because normally when I do these videos, and it's quite noisy, so pause. Let's turn the AC down. Excuse me, actually, too. So I'm just gonna turn it up, so it'll stop kind of doing its thing for a second. I'm sure much to my husband's chagrin because I always keep it hot. And then they have these kind of cool light switches, but um, oh, for purposes of this video, I'm gonna leave them on. Okay. So normally I do these kind of almost I don't want to say sterile, but I like clean up my bag, and somebody ate a lot of Nutella today, and. I usually like make it look all nice, but I'm not doing that at all. I literally just took this out of the car. I just got here to Fort Worth. I'm gonna read this bag for you. So this is um, this is their large tote, and I'm just gonna show it to you like this. I'm kind of almost like borderline embarrassed, but when I travel, I don't know what happens. It seems that my things multiply, and then I also add to it by buying things, and all of the things happened, and so holy moly, like there's a lot of stuff, and frankly junk in this bag. But anyways, let's go through. It's broken in really, really nicely. Um, so I just wanna comment on that. If you saw the unboxing, it was stiff, and now it's like getting really, really soft. Okay, so the first thing I have in here is a nine by 13 inch laptop, but it's in a case that's meant for a 15 inch laptop. And the reason I do that is this. Like I have um, the keyboard dongle and the headset dongle, and then there's another dongle that I'm missing. Maybe my mouse dongle when I use it, but I hate taking these things out because I think you're prone to losing them. So I got a 15 inch for that reason. Fits super nice. 15 inch, no problem in this bag. Um, I feel like it fades in and out when you do a rental car and you try to link to Bluetooth. So we bypass that by getting this like borderline ridiculous okay. speaker to um, listen to music in the car. And then it's kind of nice. My daughter's sleeping, I moved to the front seat. If she's listening, I moved to the back seat. Um, and this is what we do in lieu of the car thing, so we don't have to deal with the rental car's Bluetooth, which is, um, in my experience, pretty spotty sometimes, and then they don't always have the best plugins. Um, so this, 
I, I mean, I put insane amounts of things in here. Uh, so I've been on this epic 34 night road trip and I work in the car on my laptop on the long drive days. And so this plugs into the um, lighter and it allows me to charge my laptop. So this other thing has been like a lifesaver because I literally will put in a full day's work and then some on these long car trips. Um, this is so nice. This is one of the things that comes with this bag and um, and my daughter wants to make sure this cool thing is in the screen, which is her latest stuffy purchase. But anyways, I really like this bag because it comes with everything. Like it's just, everything is all included. So it came with this really nice pouch and I kind of use it as my electronics pouch. So I have all my plugins there. You can tell this is like a working trip. I have, um, I had to give like a multi-day presentation, I'm like nerding it up over here. So I have my presentation clicker. God knows when your presentation, you don't have the time that it would take to hit the space bar. Um, so that's what I use this for, but it's actually a really nice de facto clutch. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's one, two, three credit card slots. The rest of it is just open. It's got three credit card slots and it does have kind of a smooth, slick, like almost like a nylon liner. Um, and then it has this. So if you wanted to take this out uh, and use it as a wallet, you totally could do that. So that's what's in there. I have, um, I don't know why I have so many wallets, but I have this Duval wallet that I like and keep like all my kind of like emergency um, medical cards, that kind of stuff that I don't need all the time. Um, and insurance, blah, blah, blah. So I kind of keep that, carry it around. Um, Fly Guy presents, because it's important to get your summer reading in. So um, we're trying to get our summer reading in. We've not done so well. But I carry the book. I carry several books. This is one of them. On the off chance that I will do that. I, um, a shampoo sample that I wanted. I have my, this is insane, like the amount of things I have in this bag. I have my, my laptop cord. I have, um, so I had to give these this presentation and then I had um, a couple of things that I knew people were gonna ask me and I wanted to have, in case something happened to my laptop, easily at my fingertips, PDFs, the things that I needed to reference during said presentation, so I have these here. Uh, and I've sort of gotten married to them, which is strange, so I don't know, I, mean, I suppose I could reprint them, but um, probably more environmentally friendly to save. This is the charger for this. My Fitbit Sense, which is, um, mm, love this thing. Makes me a little crazy about getting my steps, but I love it. This is yet another electrical accoutrement, which is a hardcore charger that will like charge up like a gazillion devices. Um, at least two, what, well, it is also could be charging itself potentially. And the life on this is insane. So, um, you gotta have it because you could be traveling in the car for a very long time. Uh, I've been spending insane amounts of time on the, in the sun, which you probably noticed from this and my very light hair. Um, I must have. You never even know where you're gonna pop out. We have all kinds of strange snacks in the car. Plastic utensils from my kiddo. Um, she is very much into bath time. And the hotel baths are cool, like the one I just showed you. So I carry a bath mom for her. We pick one up whenever. I am determined that we are going to write some postcards this summer. So I got some stamps, because we're gonna keep up with our academic pursuits. Um, as I mentioned to you, this is not exciting. Um, but as I mentioned to you, we're reading. So we're reading this one. And uh, this is the HB 10B2 plus, which was an integral part of my presentation. Uh, I'm gonna put that to the side because that's really boring for pretty much everybody. Um, I have a bunch of postcards, so that's in there so my daughter can practice her writing. I strangely have a bunch of loose Kleenex because my daughter was having like sneezing fits, as was I, I think. Uh, a cookie, a pair of sunglasses, um, a bunch of stuff in here in the side pocket, which I will empty for you. Um, the funnest kids card game, taco, cat, goat, cheese, pizza. So awesome for mindless and nights. it's also three players. Yes, it's also a minimum of three players, thank you. Uh, the ever-present hand sanitizer, which I can't seem to move on from. My welcome gift from my other hotel of gummy worms. Yeah, I mean, it's not pretty in here, hand sanitizer. And then a couple loose cords. So all that crazy fit in, 
And so let's, oh, so let's do this. Now that I've semi cleaned out my bag, let's show you some stuff. So on this side closest to me, which is the side that would be close to your body because it does not have the exterior pocket, there is a zippered, generously sized pocket. Um, I currently have in there a hotel key card of a hotel that I left about a week ago, more hand sanitizer, and then another electrical converter plug-in, miscellaneous junk. So that's this, and it zips. And then I'm gonna swing it around to show you that on this side it's an open pocket, and I have in there like sunscreen, Alka-Seltzer, bless you, um, a pen, all that good stuff, it's totally open. Here's what's cool that I've not seen in, um, I've never seen it in a bag. I'm not, I, don't, I won't say that it's a, completely you, unique to them. Listen, the, the bless you is just me sneezing. Yes, the bless you is just just because you sneezed. Is they have this, here, I'll do this. It's actually really cool. I've, been, I've never had a bag with this in it. There goes my mouse that I've been looking for. It's, so it's a drink holder, and it's cool for a few reasons. One, because it's removable, so it's got this Velcro attachment. And two, so I can put my coffee and then have the reasonably assured that because the bag stands up that it won't fall over but I can also wipe it out because it's like that leather material uh not leather it's like a nylon material but what I use it for is like I'll take my sunglasses and I'll shove it in there and it kind of just like I carry a lot of sunglasses when I travel because I never know what I'm gonna feel like but I can shove like two sunglasses in there as long as they don't get caught in each other and so that's kind of what I use it for and actually I did not velcro that in it's hard to do these things on the fly, but trust me that I Velcro that in. And then it kind of creates this third pocket. So I have my open pocket, my drink pocket, or my miscellaneous open pocket, and then I have my zipper pocket. And then they have this, which, so this comes with a bag, and I think it's really cool. It's kind of like a bell key. I'm not sure what the official term is, but it allows you to hook your key to it, and then it kind of disappears by pulling like this. And it's just attached with this, um, not a D-ring, I'm not sure what you call it, but like a dog leash, I think. It's just attached like that. So you could really clip it anywhere, inside, outside. I always have it clipped to the outside. Um, I took my keys off because I'm traveling, so I just didn't think it was safe to have my keys out. I also clipped to here a hand sanitizer. And then let me show you just a couple more things. So this is the crossbody strap. I will say, um, in my version 2.0, and I don't know how I would solve this problem, but I'll share it with you and maybe the smart ladies that sign this bag can work on it. I wear this at the absolute shortest setting. I'm very short and I like to wear my bag shorts. It's insanely short. I don't know that anyone else on the planet would do this. But if you do do this, take a look at where the center lies, which is here. And I cannot move the shoulder pad because of this buckle. So I would love in version 2.0 for some, us to somehow be able to solve this problem. Um, Maybe this is removable is my guess. Like if this had snaps, then you could put it anywhere on the bag. That's maybe my easy fix. Um, but anyways, that's how it affixes to the bag is it's got um, two D-rings here on opposing sides of the bag. Then, here's the other thing. There's a really nice magnet closure here like that. It's actually pretty strong. You can kind of see that like it takes a little bit of doing. I will say I always have it stuffed to the gills. So to be honest, I can never use the magnet closure. But for someone who doesn't stuff their bags like I stuff mine, um, that might be of use to you. There is this that can slim the profile of the bag. And you saw it in my unboxing because the bag was new and the leather requires time to sort of wear in and become soft and pliable. It didn't really stay. I think it's gonna do it now because I've been traveling for a fair amount of time with this bag and using it and abusing it. You should also note how long I've been abusing it that it looks really good. It's one of those bags that's only gonna get better with time. So here's the slim down profile if you elected to snap it, and my husband just gave me the look because he's doing this holding it. I'll unsnap it and I'll move on to talk faster. The other thing is there's two straps here for shoulder carry. They are what I call the holy grail, meaning could you put this on with just bending your elbow? Yes, you do catch it a bit here, and that's as opposed to shorter wherein you have to do that. Um, and then the last thing I wanna to mention to you is this precious front thing. If this were my phone, I do this all the time. Like this secret back pocket here, it's like, it's the handiest thing. I just took um, a couple of flights and having like the stuff that I needed, like my phone for my um, 
boarding pass and my license all right here was like the best. This is a magnet, also a really smart design in case you need that extra security but are not gonna mess with um, a zipper or a button or a clasp, generous size pocket. Um, and that's it, I am just, I'm a huge fan of the company, the bag, how this is wearing in, all the smart, thoughtful designs, the things that it comes with, it comes with this extra crossbody staff, it comes with um, the drink attachment accoutrement, it comes with the key thing, and good lord, I got a lot of stuff, and it comes with the wristlet slash wristlet wallet, or in my case, the tech pouch. Um, it's an A-plus bag for storage. We have secret pocket, front pocket, open pocket, and our zipper pocket. Um, give it a shot, Era 81 out of San Francisco, if you haven't before. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching.